Hi, I'm Mark Cunningham with Grace Property Management. Now, you may be thinking this is a strange question. Can I leave my lawnmower? Mark, I don't even have a lawnmower I would be giving to my tenants. But it could be a lawnmower. It could be any personal property. It could be drapes. could be a pool table. could be a kitchen table. could be a piano in the basement you don't want to move. But should you and can you leave behind any type of personal property for your tenants when you're moving out of a property and you're converting it to a rental or pre previous tenants have left it behind? Our recommendation, and we believe this wholeheartedly, is simply this, never, ever, ever leave behind any personal property. Any personal property. That means no pool table, it means no drapes, it means no lawn mower, no lawn equipment, no cleaning supplies, don't leave any of that personal property behind. Now, that may seem strange. You think, well, I, gosh, I, I wanna be kind to my, my residents and I'm moving out and I have this brand new lawn mower, why can't I leave it for them? It'll encourage them to mow the lawn. They'll do a better job maintaining my lawn. My property will be better. I wanna provide them what I can. It comes from a good place. I totally get that. However, there's three reasons I think it is unwise to leave behind any personal property. And number one is liability. So let's use the lawnmower example. You leave behind the lawnmower, trying to be nice for your tenant to use, and your tenant says, great, I don't have to go buy a new mower. And the tenant goes out the first day of summer and they're having trouble starting that mower and they finally get it started, but they reach underneath to see what's going on and slice, right? There goes the finger. Guess who now has liability for that problem? You do, as the landlord. Why? You provided the lawnmower. And so when the tenant cut their finger, guess, who's, guess, guess who cut their finger? Your lawnmower cut their finger. You have liability. If it would have been their mower, you're okay. But because you provided it, you now have additional liability. The same thing is true for the kitchen table, right? So if you have a kitchen table that you've left behind and uh, the three-year-old kid is running across the top of the kitchen table and falls off it and slips and hits his head and has to get stitches, potentially you have some liability. Why? Because you provided that kitchen table. Now that may sound crazy, but that's the way the law works. So there's a liability aspect that, you, that, that would cause you not to want to leave behind personal property. That's number one. Now number two, is the maintenance of those items. You say, well, that doesn't make sense. I'm not gonna maintain them. Well, then you better write it into your lease because if your lease is silent on that, guess what? You are going to maintain it because the law in essence says this, if you provide it, you must maintain it. So if you're giving them the lawnmower, you must maintain the lawnmower unless your lease has specific language saying the lawnmower that we gave you is not going to be, not going to be maintained by the landlord. But now you've got to go in and edit your lease. Just don't maintain it or don't provide it on the front end and you won't have to deal with this aspect of maintenance at all on this. Third reason is simply this. The law in Colorado does not really protect or even govern personal property in rental units. Here's what I mean by that. Let's pretend a tenant is in your property and they move out of that property and they knocked a hole in the wall. All right, they took a fist right through the hole in the wall. Will you charge them for the hole in the wall against their security deposit? Of course you will, right? It's clear cut very black and white, you're gonna charge for damages. Now, what if though you had a pool table in the property and the pool table was in really good condition when they moved in, but at some point in time while they were there, they took that pool stick and they just tore the felt on one foul bad hit and the felt on that pool table tore across. Can you legally charge them for that? If they've been a resident in the property, the answer is probably no, you can't. Why? Because that's personal property and the law does not clearly define in any aspect what you can charge or deduct for wear and tear on personal property. So you wear and tear on a, on a residential property, things like carpet and walls, things like that, very, very clear what you can charge for. Not so clear on personal property. So if you have drapes and they ruined your drapes, they trashed your pool table, they broke your lawnmower, you really legally don't have much of a, a footing to stand on to charge them for those things because the law just doesn't give you much protection on how tenants use personal property because the law says, look, tenants are going to use it. If it's a pool table, tenants are going to be expected to use it and at some point in time, they may scratch the felt. That's just the nature of personal property. So if you have any emotional connection to the personal property, remove it. If you have any hesitation that the pro personal property is going to be damaged, destroyed, stolen, just remove it. Get it out of the property to begin with. It will be better for you because you won't have liability around that. You won't have to maintain that aspect and you don't have to worry about how you're gonna potentially charge a tenant when they vacated the property. Remove the personal property. That's our recommendation. We've learned that over 40 years in business, a lot of times the hard way. That's what we recommend. If you've got questions, give our office a call, 303-255-1990. Jump on our website, rentgrace.com. Happy to answer any questions you may have.